Hey, it's Maria with Wealth Creation, where we talk about passive income, active income, financial freedom, how to get from here to there so you can live the life that you want to live, better quality of life and more fun, right? Okay, so let's talk about savings versus debt versus investing, okay? So somebody asked me, how much do you need to save before you invest? And that is going to depend on your situation. I am all for having an emergency fund. You know, even if it's just a month's worth of income, I like to have that money set aside so that if something happens, if I have to be off work for a week, you know, and I don't get paid for that, or if I have like a major appliance that needs to be replaced or something like that, then I like to have that money in the bank, even though it's not earning hardly any interest. I also like to have investments because that's money that's growing and investments take time to grow. We want them to grow over the long term. Now, the one Forex thing that I'm in that I've talked about before is growing my money a lot faster. So that is not like your typical investment. And I do usually suggest people look at that as well because as one basket, one piece of your pie, not the whole thing, um, because that's going to really help you get to that passive income faster. But Regular investments in the stock market and mutual funds, your 401k, IRAs, bonds, all of that stuff, they're growing, but they're growing at a pretty slow rate. And a lot of them are not really liquid. If you need the money and the market's gone down, you're going to take a loss if you cash in. Um, there could be tax implications. There could be um, delays sometimes. Oh, sometimes if you put money in right away and you take it out right, right away, you put it in and you take it out right away, there's a penalty. Um, IRAs have withdrawal penalties, so in bonds you can't cash in for the first year, at least not the I-bonds, which are what I buy. So it's nice to have like that stash of cash somewhere in case you need it. However, the amount to save before you invest is really an individual thing. Like for me, I started buying $25 bonds when I didn't have a lot of money because I really wanted to feel... Like, oh my God, I'm finally making some progress on this road to investing. So maybe it's setting up um, a brokerage account and just putting $100 into it and then adding $25 or $50 every month. An amount that is not going to like completely change your world overnight, but it's going to get you in the mindset of investing. It's going to make you feel better about your future. So even if you can only do a little bit, I suggest investing right away even as you're saving and you can do them in tandem so if you have fifty dollars a month save 25 invest 25 if you have a hundred dollars a month split that in half you know if you don't have an emergency fund yet or your emergency fund got depleted because you had to use it maybe instead of long-term savings and investing maybe for a couple months for peace of mind you are going to put money back into that emergency fund in other words pay yourself back so yeah, it's really up to your temperament, um, your risk aversion, you know, how much risk you're willing to take. Um, if you know you're going to have expenses coming up quickly and you don't want to have money that you can't get to, all of those things play into, you know, they're in play when you are trying to figure out how to use the money that you could use for either savings or investing or emergencies or whatever. So yes, it's individual, but hopefully this gave you some things to think about. I started investing right away. Like I said, started buying $25 I-bonds. Not a lot, but it's a little. And over time, that money is added up. I have some money in my, in my emergency fund. I have a little cash that I keep on hand because you never know. You know, I went to, okay, I went to the gas station the other day and I don't know, they were having problems. Their credit card things weren't working at all. And their network was down. That's what it was. And so fortunately, I keep a small amount, not huge, but a little bit of cash on me. You know, I have it with me hidden in my car. And I was able to use that to get gas because I needed gas. So having that little extra stash somewhere or a prepaid Visa card if you don't want to have cash or something so that you don't get stuck. Emergency, right? That's great too. So yeah. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully this was helpful. 
Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I've got lots more to say and I really, really try to be honest and um, tell you how it is. I'm not hypey and you know, I'm not perfect and I'm not a financial guru. I'm just a person like you who's trying to figure out how to have a better quality of life and more passive versus active income. All right, that's it for now. Here's to our success.